Hi, I'm Will Banthorpe and I'm here with Gym Club Solutions to film a coaching tutorial on front and back uprises on the parallel bars. Uh, we're going to cover some physical preparation and also the preps for the skill. So let's crack on and get into it. So with the front and back uprises, it does put a lot of strain through the gymnast's chest and upper body. So please make sure that your gymnast is old enough and physically prepared to do the skill. I recommend probably starting the conditioning from around nine years old uh, and then attempting the whole skill from about 10 to 11 years old. So uh, it's very important also to um, check the width of the parallel bars. It needs to match the width of your gymnast shoulders. Obviously the smaller and narrower your gymnast is, the smaller and narrower the bars need to be. Uh, the wider and broader the gymnast, adjust the bars wider to suit. Uh, it should be a comfortable position, so when the gymnast is, is uh, standing with their arms out to the side, the bars are as close to sort of the middle of their biceps as they can. Also, if the, the gymnast might find that they uh, become a little bit sore on their upper arms, so gymnasts can wear wristbands or sweatbands or tube grip on their, on their upper arms to protect them from scrapes, or that you could pad up the parallel bars using um, the, the Velcro pads or some big fat pads as well. If you're gonna do lots of repetitions, it's always a good thing to um, pad up the bars to make it comfortable for your gymnast. So the first exercise is shrugs in upper arm hang. So the gymnast will mount the P-bars on his upper arms, hands on the bars for stability, and he's going to shrug up and down through his shoulders, rising and depressing. Getting a full range of movement. And we would do a set of 10 to 20 of these, two to three sets of 10 to 20 for physical preparation. Next up, we're gonna do the upper arm shrugs, but with the feet up, raised up onto the bars in front. The gymnast's gonna to try to keep his hips elevated and a straight body head in a neutral position and shrug up and down through the shoulders. Slightly more advanced version of the upper arm shrugs we've just covered. Again, we'd look to do three sets of 10 to 20 as in physical preparation. Okay, and the last one of these shrugs exercises is with the feet at the back. So in a front support position and the gymnast is going to depress the chest between the bars and fully rise up above the bars. Similarly, three sets of 10 to 20 for physical preparation and just building the strength in the chest, shoulders and the upper body. Okay, so the next strength exercise is going to be a standard tricep dip, but we're going to dip down into the upper arm position, push back up to the support, and fully extend back up to straight arms. Let's go, Luca. So here, gymnast is just getting used to taking the weight down onto the upper arm and then transferring the shoulders forwards and build in the strength to push back up to straight arms. Cool. Okay, so the next preparation exercise is for the front swing part of the back up rise. So here we are looking for the gymnast to perform a leg lift in the upper arm position and lifting the legs towards a manner position before uh, lowering back down to support. Let's go, Luca. So if you jump to upper arm, as a coach supporting, I put one hand on the lower back and one hand on the leg, and we help them lift to this position and lower down. And one more time, lift the legs, press down on the bars, lifting the hips to manner and lower down. And if your gymnast is strong enough to do on their own, let them have a go. Okay, so next up we are going to do what I call wheelbarrow dips. And you can do these in the front and the back support position. 
great for a little side station, also really good exercise to include as part of your general warm-up or conditioning plan. You can get loads of gymnasts doing these all together uh, as part of a partner work sequence. All right, so we'll start off with the front support position. Partner takes the ankles and just let the gymnast dip down to their forearms and then push back up to support. And this is similar to the back up rise here. The gymnast is just learning to transfer their weight forwards, pressing down on their hands to raise their shoulders back up into the support position. So as a slightly more advanced exercise, if you have a stronger gymnast, you can stand with your feet in between their, their feet. They can grip your legs with their legs. So they are holding on like this, here, so with no hands, and then they have to try to perform the exercise on their own. Much harder, as you can see, it engages the whole core. So we can also perform this exercise in the back support position, which is more specific for the front upright. So again, take the gymnast by the ankles. The gymnast needs to lift their chest and their hips up, and they're gonna dip back onto their forearms and press. So the partner just gives them a little bit of a pull on the ankles, and here they transfer their weight down onto their forearms and the shoulders move forwards back to support. So the next exercise is an advanced version of the tricep dip and we're going to introduce a swing. This one's known as a pump swing. You can do a forward pump swing, a backward pump swing and a double pump swing as follows. So Luca, if you jump up, we do a forward pump swing. This one is relevant more for your front uprise. The gymnast is going to dip at the back and push their arms straight at the front. And it's important here for the gymnast to maintain a straight body shape throughout the exercise. To support this exercise, I put one hand on the gymnast front and one hand on the gymnast back and I will just assist them in the dip down and mainly assist on that as they push back up to support at the front. So let's go Luca. One hand on the back, one hand on the front. Here we go, so we just allow them to dip and assist them pushing back up to the front. The, back, the hand at the back is just pressing the hips forward to allow them to, to maintain a straight body shape. So then we move on to the backward pump swing, which is more relevant for the back uprise. Very similar exercise, but this time the gymnast dips in the front swing and pushes up as their heels drive backwards. Supported in exactly the same way, one hand on the front, one hand on the back. Allow the gymnast to swing dip down and assist in pushing them up to support. And when they're strong enough, they're able to try the exercise on their own. Once the gymnast has mastered the front and the back pump swings, we can then do what's known as the double pump swing, where the gymnast dips at the, in the middle and then pushes his arm straight at the front and also again at the back. Supported in exactly the same way, hand on the front, hand on the back, but this time assisting the gymnast pushing to support on both sides. Excellent. 
So now we've done adequate physical preparation for the front and back uprisers. We've strengthened the upper body, the chest and the shoulders. We are now ready to attempt learning the entire skill. So this time the gymnast is going to perform a front uprise where the gymnast, they swing to the back. They're going to dip down onto upper arm support. They're going to press up at the front, straddle their feet to stand over, to sit over the parallel bars. Then we're going to kick off the bars into a swing to handstand. So for support here, I'm going to use my hand on the gymnast's lower back and I'm going to press their hips through as they uprise. This will maintain the gymnast with a nice straight body shape in front of the bars uh, into the straddle position. As the gymnast then kicks off the bars to swing to handstand, my other hand will move onto their shoulder and this hand will take their legs and assist them in their swing to handstand. We have one hand on the gymnast's lower back. They're going to dip down to upper arm support, press forwards to straddle onto the bars. This hand changes to the shoulder. The gymnast kicks off the bars and swings to a handstand position. Right, when the gymnast is comfortable with the stop position, we're going to minimize the stop to be a, a bounce onto the bars, an immediate swing to handstand, and eventually take the bounce and, and the support completely out. So the gymnast is left with a front up rise with a swing to handstand. So here with a bounce. And then one more time with no touch. So when your gymnast is comfortable and you feel they're able to perform their front uprise with minimal support, remove the support and let your gymnast have a try at the entire skill on their own. Now moving on to the back up rise and similarly we are going to perform a, a baby back up rise to stand on the bar and then when the gymnast is confident in performing to stand on the bar we remove the touch on the bar and the gymnast can swing immediately through to the half lever position which is a commonly used developmental skill in men's gymnastics. So the support for this is exactly the same as previously with the front uprise, one hand on the front, one hand on the back. The only difference is, as before, we are going to assist the gymnast in pushing to support as he swings backwards. So here, support one hand on the gymnast front, one hand on the back. Allow the gymnast to dip to upper arm hang. And support by pressing on the chest and assisting them lift their body up to support, split, splitting the legs to stand on the bars. If you need to, at this point, the gymnast can also add pads onto the bars to make it a little bit more comfortable and to avoid bumping the gymnast's feet or toes too hard on the bars. And the final stage of this progression would be to miss the support on the bars and the gymnast will then swing forward to a static half lever hold position. Okay, so once your gymnast has mastered the baby or the lower front and back uprisers, you can progress the front uprise towards a manner position. Now this technique is used more for towards high performance gymnastics uh, whereby your gymnast might want to perform a release skill or a dismount afterwards. So support wise is going to be similar to before. One hand is going to be on the gymnast's shoulders and the second hand is going to take the lower back on the way up. We're going to provide a little bit of assistance in the manner position, then allow the gymnast to strike forwards into a swing to handstand. This time. 
the strike. So once your gymnast is confident with support, again, remove the support and the coach can step back and let the athlete have a try at the complete skill towards a manner position, striking out to, into a dynamic and powerful swing to handstand. So in order to progress the back up rise to handstand, I've got three more strength exercises for you guys to use and um, to develop the final part of the press and the press up to handstand. The first one is going to be handstand dips on the floor bars where I'm going to support the gymnast around his thighs. I'm going to lift him and assist him as he performs a press up in the handstand position. So full range of movement, lowering for the head to touch the floor and I'm just assisting by pulling on his knees or thighs just to help him back up to handstand. So the next exercise is the chest roll to handstand. So the gymnast is going to start in an arch position with the hips and the chest open, the hands underneath their shoulders. They will rock forwards, driving the heels up towards handstand, keeping the shoulders down as the heels invert over their head. And as a coach, I'm going to have one hand on their shoulder and one hand on their thighs and help them press up to the handstand position. Good, and one more time. Open hips, nice round body. Shoulders stay low. Gymnast presses up to handstand. Uh, so once the gymnast is able to perform the chest roll with minimal support and you feel that they're in a good position to have a go without, absolutely fine to remove support, make it a competition, who's the strongest gymnast, who can perform the chest roll to handstand without support. So now moving on to the final exercise, developing the back upright handstand is the double pump swing, which we covered earlier, but this time we're gonna take it completely up to handstand. Okay, so support for this skill, exactly the same as before, hand on the front, hand on the back, assist the gymnast in dip and pressing up in the front, dip through the middle, but this time driving the heels and adjusting to the thigh and the shoulder as they reach the handstand position. Also, you see I've added in an extra block here to give me a little bit of extra height so my waist is about in line with the top of the bars. This just allows me to get right over on top of the bars and to be high enough in assisting the gymnast in the handstand position. Obviously, the taller the gymnast, the higher you need to be. So make sure you build yourself up with a nice stable platform to be as high as you need to be. Okay, similarly to the chest roll, once you feel your um, uh, similar to the chest roll, once you feel you're providing minimal support, absolutely fine to let the gymnasts have a go on their own and see make it a challenge again, see who can perform a pump swing to handstand. Let's go Luca. Okay, so now we're ready for the final product, the back up rise to handstand. And Luca is going to start in the manner position, the leg lift to manner position that we did earlier in the conditioning at set. And then from the manner position, strike forwards, and I'm gonna support the back up rise to handstand exactly the same way as I've supported the chest roll and the double pump swing, with one hand on the shoulder and one hand on the thighs to assist him in pressing to handstand.
So the final progression that we can do for our back up rise to handstand is on inclined bars where we drop one end of the bars down, the gymnast is going to face out and this just assists them in moving the shoulders over the top of their hands and assisting them in getting enough swing to press the handstand. There we have our tutorial on front and back up risers. I hope you found it useful. Um, just to recap, so predominantly a strength-based skill, so plenty of physical preparation. Make sure that we are paying attention to the gymnast's physical maturity. We're not pushing them too early to make sure that we're respecting their bodies and to make sure that they are not becoming sore through their shoulders and their chest. Uh, if at any point your gymnast is struggling with this skill, fall back to the physical preparation and increase the sets and repetitions you're doing to build up their strength. Plenty of support, pads on the bars to keep it gym, the gymnast's arms safe and have fun. Hope it helps and I hope to see you on the next one.